is a new year, and that means there is a huge line of celestial wonders happening in 2025. It is so exciting. Dr. Billy Teets, or William <laughs> Teets, is the director of Vanderbilt Dyer Observatory, and he is the man in the know when it comes to everything happening in the cosmos. <laughs> this is a big year for planet watching and for events at the observatory, too. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. Always a pleasure to be here. Oh, yes, it is our pleasure. Okay. We got a parade of planets yes. that's coming up. Please tell yes. us all about it. Yes, yeah, so the parade of planets, we're going to have an opportunity to see, to see up to six planets in the evening sky. In fact, you can go out tonight and just after dark, once it starts seeing some of the stars popping out, look over in the west, you'll see Venus, you'll see Saturn right next to it. Uh, two of the planets, Uranus and Neptune, you're gonna have to have a telescope to see, but the other four, including Jupiter, which is way up high, and Mars way over in the east. You can see those with just your bare eye. You and you and explain what they look like because when I was outside mm -hmm. the other day, it was kind of yellowish, correct? So there are some planets that will have a little bit of a, a color to them. So uh, Mars, for example, has a, a nice kind of reddish orange hue. Um, Saturn has a little bit of a hue to it, but the other is they're kind of uh, they're kind of a pale white. Oh. Uh, but but Venus, for example, it's so bright; it's the brightest thing out there besides the moon. And Jupiter is, is uh, pretty; it's it's rivaling it in brightness as well. So yeah, and if you've got a telescope and you can drag it out, it's mm -hmm. definitely worth it because you just uh, saw on those images there. Um, the, there's a lot of features that you can see on each of those planets. And in fact, um, Venus, you can even see it in the daytime. So <gasps> Wow. So yeah. we can go outside right now and maybe see it? In fact, uh, last Friday I was uh, uh, showing a group around and we looked up in the sky where the telescope was pointing and you could actually see it with just your bare eye. Very cool. Yeah, so. I love that you can see some yeah. of it with your bare eye. Mm -hmm. Some of it you can see much better with a telescope as you exactly. touched on. Any other suggestions for when we want to see it the clearest? Where we should go? I know you guys are sold out for this upcoming event. So um, I just make sure that you have a good, clear western, southwestern horizon because the planets are going to first start setting over in that direction. And uh, go right out after sunset. Once you start seeing those stars pop out because Saturn and then Venus and even Neptune, they're not going to stay up too long after uh, the sun sets. But the others, they're going to be up for a good part of the night. In fact, Mars will be up for most of the night. Oh, cool. OK. OK. Yeah. And then when is the total lunar eclipse? Because that's yes. around the corner, too. Yes. Uh, Less than two months away, uh, we've got a total lunar eclipse in March. Uh, this one, you're going to have to go out really late in the in the evening and watch it through the early morning hours. But it'll be a beautiful total uh, lunar eclipse. The moon will turn a deep uh, red color, and yeah, it, it never disappoints. And you don't have to have a telescope to be able to see that one and really appreciate it. Just going out there and seeing it with your bare eye, it, it's it's a, a spectacle, put it that way. Not even special glasses, huh? Not even special glasses. Right. These, you just want your bare eye. I, yeah. I love it. Well, I know you guys are adding a lot of events to your calendar yes. for the upcoming year. Tell mm -hmm. us some of the things we can expect. So we've got uh, our monthly viewing nights. We have lecture nights. And even the lecture nights are live streamed. So if you can't make it, you can still join us on YouTube. Uh, we have uh, open houses. We have concerts. And uh, Dyer is also a rental venue. So if you're ever interested in having a, an event, you want a really unique lo and fun location, mm -hmm. be sure to check us out. And I'll also mention if you go to our events page and go to our ticket page, there's a little blue button to, to click to follow. And whenever we add a new event, you're going to get a notification for it. Well, we are going to be hosting a local on two party. <laughs> yes, I hope so. Yes, we love that. <laughs> okay, question yes. for you. Let's say, do you have one of those apps? You know how there are apps that you can view yes. kind of the constellations. Yes. Do you have any recommendations? There's a lot of those apps out there, and I'd say that they're all really good. Some have more bells and whistles than the other, mm -hmm. but I mean they're great for especially just getting you oriented to the sky and making sure that you know what you think is a planet is actually a planet. Okay. So. All right. What's this we hear about Saturn losing its ring slowly? Is that true? Yes, so um, you may have seen in that picture that we had uh, of Saturn contributed by Mark Manor. Um, Saturn's rings are looking uh, pretty edge on right now. So uh, by March, they will go edge on, perfectly edge on for a couple of days, and you won't be able to see them. So a lot of people are saying Saturn's rings are disappearing, but it's just our point of view. They're going to start uh, getting more and more face on over the next few years. And so be back or what? They're, they're going to be back, yeah. Okay. So right now it looks like Saturn's rings are kind of like a needle going through the planet. Mm -hmm. But look at it in the coming years and you're going to see that the rings get more and more face on and they become more and more photogenic. So they're not they're not disappearing forever. So um, you're, you're still going to be able to see them with the telescope. Okay, um, yeah, okay. So. What else should we be looking at when it, when it comes to, you know, 
know, looking in a telescope or even looking with the bare eye because, you know, you look up at the night sky and you think, mm -hmm. wow, how far are we? We're so small. What exactly, exactly are we looking at? So, um, you know, a lot of folks uh, neglect binoculars. If you've got just even a small pair of binoculars, just scan the sky with it, and you're going to see so much more than what you can see with just your bare eye. You're not going to see the planets up close or, you know, these really bright galaxies and things like that, but you're just going to see so many stars that you had no idea were there, and it's just a, a truly awe-inspiring sight. So cool. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank Valentine's you so much for Day. having good to <laughs> yeah. Thank yes. you. <laughs> yes. Come back soon, everyone. Dyer Observatory is the place to be. Scan this QR code on your screen for field trips, telescope nights, lectures, concerts, and so much more. Be sure to head to dyer.vanderbilt.edu for crucial updates and more information.